Life is full of ups and downs. If you lose your hope, you go there for crown. Though it's dark, the dawn is day. And when it comes, there'll be the fear. So keep your hopes alive. Don't worry. And it's going to be a full load. They will be leaving by midnight today, okay? Why are you acting like this is the first time? Remember the PM will not be happy with you if you screw things up this time around. Like you messed up last time. Why won't I? When the last time the PM promised to give me 100 k at the end of the day, he ended up giving me only 10,000 naira. If now you go like him, you go happy. Sure. Anyway, just do your part. Let me do my part. Hmm? You remember he's the PM? Okay? Yeah, my boy. Don't worry. Life is full of ups and downs. If you lose your hope, you go there for crown. Though it's dark, the dawn is day. And when it comes, there'll be the fear. So keep your hopes alive. Don't worry. To pray and wipe your tears Though it's hard, it's worth the fight Cause when you win, there'll be the tears Keep your hopes alive Don't worry, keep your dreams alive Don't worry, keep your smile so bright Don't worry, on the edge of a cliff, ready to fall Hold on tight, you can make it right Don't you fret to me this man Cause hello, hello, you can make it right how fun, oh my guy, my guy. What's happening? Man, I do. I'm, I'm just I'm just tired. Huh? I'm just tired, man. So what's happening? What's uh, happening? Uh, uh, what's up what's up with that our request now? Yes. Ah, you made the long request that we made to your accountant the other day. Ex exactly. Man, I'm hoping for good news. I need that cash badly. My birthday is two days away. And man, there is this new baby in town. I need to give her a heavy bash, oh boy. Birthday? Yeah, my birthday! Two days away! I, mean, which I, I wish I had the, the, the pleasure now of throwing a birthday bash for myself. Come on. What are you talking about? I said my birthday, boy. The accountant asked me to come tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, birthday. Well, I need my money for something more serious. In, wow. in fact, I, I, need, I need my money for... No, You're never, sounding never like it's a do or die affair. Never mind. It's, it's, Bro, it's, what's it's happening? Fine. Talk to me. I'm your guy. Talk to me. It's actually a do or die affair. If I don't get this money okay. today, tomorrow, or next, some things might spoil. And what see, is it, Uche, bro? Never mind. Let me not even bother you with my issues. Wow. Let me um, let me get back to work. <sighs> okay. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. What's happening to this guy? What? Let me mind my. Yeah. Life is full of ups and downs. If you lose your hope, you go there for crown. Though it's dark, the dawn is day. And when it comes, there'll be the fear. So keep your hope. Doctor, say something. You have just been staring at me speechless. Is there anything I need to know? Mr. George. The last check done on your daughter Anita, I must confess, was not so good. Her condition is deteriorating faster than expected. And it is expected that such little child suffering from congenital heart disease should be attended to as quickly as possible. Although it can be managed, but a surgery has to be done immediately. Doctor, you, ju you just said it could be managed. Help me manage it for the time being. Give me some more time. I am trying. I will raise this money as soon as possible. For, but for now, please just help me. Just keep her here. Keep her here. Help me. She's all I've got. She's my only daughter. Mr. George, I really do understand you're finding it difficult to raise the money for the surgery. But I would advise you try harder. As it stands, Anita has barely five days to live. 
except if the necessary surgery is carried on right away. Where, where, where am I supposed to get 3.5 million from in five days? I remember you once mentioned you were going to approach your company for some financial assistance in form of a loan. Haven't you done that yet? Yeah, yes, I, I have. And um, it's, it's looking really positive. The accountant asked me to meet up with her tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll get this money. Dr. Bimbo, now that you know that I have a, a means of raising this money, can you carry out the surgery? Please. Mr. George, I am only a staff here. I receive orders from board of directors of this hospital. It is a strictly pay before service system that we run here. My hands are tight. I am sorry. I am really sorry. Product of my first passion. The sunshine in my darkness. I will do everything within my power to make sure you live here in no time. Please just give me some more time, okay? Just be strong for me. Even if it means taking my life for yours, you will be out of here. Dad. All right. Mr. Summit, be careful. The doctor will let me die. No, no, no. I will not let you die, honey. I will not let you die. Okay? Trust me. Trust him. You want to see grandma? Okay, let, 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 let me go and get her for you, okay? She... She even said she wants to see you. Oh, this is serious. Yeah. But mom, you know, you know what's more frustrating about this whole thing? The doctors are not helping matters at all. They are insistent on 80% deposit before they, they do anything. 880. I don't know. Where am I supposed to get 3.5 million from? My granddaughter. Hey. <clears throat> Have you tried asking your friends to see if they could help? Mom, I have. I have, but you know how things are, are right now. Nobody is bulging with, with anything reasonable. But I, I actually applied for a loan at my place of work. Really? And, and, and what are they saying? Well, it's uh, uh, no response yet, but um, 
I'm, I'm positive. They'll give me. They'll, they'll, they'll give me. Yes. You, you, you want anything to eat? No, I'm fine. So how far? Very well, sir. You did everything? I did everything perfectly, sir. How many? Now hold back, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Very good. Sir. How many did you record as sent to the company? Yeah, I recorded hundred back, sir. I even I even drove the receipt. Is there, sir? Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, have you sorted Jato out? Ah, sir, that one. I sorted him out as usual. Uh, no, it's very key. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, I love you. You are just the most lovable employee I have here. That's why I, that's why I talk about you to every all the employees. They don't get it. They don't get it. This is the key to success. Yes, sir. Okay? Okay. So just just be going. We'll, 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 okay, sir. Yeah. Okay? Um, sir, that um the loan I applied for. Uh, you know, I wanted to remind you, yes, sir. The one you talked to me about, the ah, are you still talking about like, listen, just the only thing between you and that loan is just a few days. <laughs> Ah, you go and see the accountant, thank okay? You, Don't you, worry sir. about it. Thank you, okay. Sir. Okay, sir. Sir, sir. sir, for the party, you know, is uh, when you're coming now, you can branch over, you know, so, and, uh, uh, and get something, sir. I hope you know my thing. You are oh, uh, my handbag. Uh, oh, you know that guy. I know now. I know now. Better do it. I'll come back. <laughs> I will, sir. Bad boy. Stupid I will, sir. boy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. I'll see you later, okay? Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. yeah. Remain loyal, no? I shall, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Life is full of ups and downs If you lose your hope, you go there for crown Do it that the dawn is near And when it comes, there'll be the fear So keep your hopes alive Sir, I have explained to you over and over again how much I need this money My daughter is in dying need of a surgery And the doctors have asked me to bring 3.5 million naira before they can touch her. I have tried. I have tried to raise this money. I've tried, but it's not working. I have not been, I've not been able to get enough to run the surgery. My daughter's life is at stake. I beg you, sir, please. Please. Well, uh, George, <clears throat> your story <clears throat> is very touching. And it's pathetic. The only thing is, uh, I don't care. You see, Lush Haven Construction is not a charity organization. And as a project manager of this uh, wonderful company, it is my job to make sure that funds are appropriately used for whatever, and not on unnecessary and frivolous um, family issues. But sir, uh, you, you just approved a loan for Uche. Okay, yes. You're right, uh, I did, yes, yes, you're right. You see, <clears throat> the difference between now and that time is that I was actually in a good mood at the time. I also coupled the fact that uh, Uche also happens to have a very wonderful personality. He's very likable. You, on the other hand, I don't like. I mean, I've tried so many times to like you, but it's just impossible. <laughs> uh, so, um, if there's nothing else, uh, please leave my office and go back to your duty post. Eh? And um, uh, just to... In case of next time, eh? uh, next time you want to ask me for something, try not to use children as an excuse. The reason I'm saying this is because I actually hate children. I don't like them. Okay? Just, you know, a wise thing, a tip. 
a friendly tip. Calling out at you, what's up? What's up? You seem distant and not interested in work these days. What's wrong? Did I do anything wrong? Why is that man so cruel? Why is he so heartless? Does he have any feelings at all? Why does he hate me so much? What have I done? Wait, I think I'm 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 lost here. Who hates you? Who is so heartless? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait a minute. Don't tell me it's the project manager, Mr. Raymond. What has he done this time? <sighs> Anita is sick. And she needs urgent medical attention. Anita, your daughter, sick. But what's wrong with her? Is, is, it, is it that serious? It's a bit serious. <sighs> she. She has CHD. Oh. And the doctor says she needs an immediate surgery. We have to raise 3.5 million naira. Oh, like no. right now, like now, immediately, if not, something might happen and I don't have that kind of money. Where am I, where am I supposed to get that kind of money from? Jeez. Oh, wow. But, I still, I still don't see how the project manager is involved in this. Oh, oh, oh. You think he's responsible for Anita's condition? No, no, not at all. But I applied for a loan. Oh. At the same time Uche did. And he he said he was he was not going to approve it. He refused to approve my loan. And went ahead to say that he hates children. Hates children? Who does that? But didn't you submit any medical report? Oh, Anything to further buttress your point. I did. He has a medical report. I even attached Anita's picture to, to the application. You know what pains me the most? The fact that he will approve Uche's Uch, Uch, application. What does Uche need the money for? Birthday party. Even though I'm not sure that's what Uche put in, in his application. But whatever, whatever it is that Uche, Uche wrote, can, can you quantify it to my daughter's life? My, my only daughter, can you quantify it? I think, I think this, this, this man went far in the hatred he has for you. I'm sorry, man. I wish there was something I could do. But you know how things are with me. And my pregnant wife won't give me breathing space. But one thing I know for sure, Anita will be all right. I would always pray for her, always. Thank, thank, thank you. I, I really appreciate. Anita needs all the prayers she can get right now. It is well. But who is with her in the hospital? Oh, my, my, my mom. My mom is in town. Mom, she stays with her at the hospital while I, you know, I, I try to rally around for the money. It's all good. Oh. Hey, aren't you boys supposed to be at your duty post? So, sorry sir, we're about, we about leaving. No, bring a mattress and come and sleep here. Bloody nincompoops. Laborers. <laughs>
you need to put yourself together. You can't keep wearing this long face. It's not going to solve any problem. Ever since you got back from work, you've been so moody and downcasted. If you continue like this, how do you think Anita would feel? Brace up and be a man. Be a man? Mom, be a man? How, how can I? I'm done trying to be a man. Because a man that cannot provide for his daughter's treatment is not a man. A man that cannot defend what he cherishes the most is not a man, stop, Mom. It's stop, no man. Stop, son. It's too early for you to start considering your failure. You don't have to give up so soon. There is hope. And it's meant for only the hopeful. Hope? Yes, hope. Let us trust in hope. I know. I believe there's a God up there who listens when we cry and ask for his help when we pray. By the way, have you heard from your office? They didn't give me. They didn't give you? What do you mean they didn't give you? The, the project manager didn't, didn't approve of it. <gasps> the project manager? I am going to see the project manager. Why wouldn't he approve of it? Yeah, Mom, it's okay. No, 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 it's not okay. Let's calm down. We'll, we'll, find, a, we'll find a way. <gasps> no, no, I am going to meet him. It's not fair. Okay, you need to eat. Eat, please. Do you want me to dish for you? Oh, got it right. Ah, my project manager. So you're here? Yes, I am. I'm just coming for your office. I didn't see you. Oh, really? Yeah. I actually came here to supervise some of the things. You know how it goes. Oh, of course, I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a very difficult set of people. Mm. Anyway, I came to uh, confirm the uh, excavation of the septic tanks. Yeah. Oh, really? Excavation yeah. of the septic tanks. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I actually I sent the schedule to your office earlier today. Um, even though I spoke to one of the excavator department and guys yeah. i think they should do that yeah they should do that oh, okay you want to do it uh, it, uh, it should be done no let me handle it i i know exactly how to handle it, the people to handle it are you serious uh, well so far it's done trust me it will get done pm my pm <laughs> <laughs> your man at service no, well, <laughs> well done uh, let me get to you let me see to it right away all right okay all right. <laughs> Hey, you, come up here. Good morning, sir. From the architectural drawings I have here, the interpretation is that the septic tank of this facility lies over there. Okay, sir. Okay. My friend, go and get your equipment and start digging. I, I should dig, sir. Oh, sorry. I used the wrong word. Uh, what I meant was um, to use the right word. Excavate. With due respect, sir. 
that is not my area of concentration. It's the excavator's duty. Whose duty is it to say or uh, assign who does what or not on this site? Yours, laborer, or mine? Yes, sir. Good. I'm so glad you have not lost your sense of responsibility. So you go and do as I ask immediately or you face a query. And just in case you think <laughs> that you are, your being in the MD's good books will save you from a sack. <laughs> George. 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 Master digger, sorry, excavator. <laughs> well done. Keep it up. Hopefully, by midnight <laughs> or tomorrow, you'll be. <laughs> be careful, okay? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> To the miracles 
master of creation. He led me to, he led me to, he led me to. Right now, right now, he led me to, he led me to. How did you know I was in there? Well, in times like this, the person to run to is God. I followed you, having it in mind that you were on your way to see Anita in the hospital. But I got a little confused when I saw you brought to the church, of which I consider very good. I, I just had to tell him how, how I feel. Hmm. He knows. He sure knows. Cause 
Let me tell you a story. Okay? Story, story. Mm. Once upon a time. Okay. Now, there was this kingdom mm. where a cheetah and a tortoise lived. Now, everyone knows that a cheetah is like the fastest animal in the kingdom. While the tortoise was quite slow. Now, they made a bet that they were going to run a race and everyone was so positive that the cheetah would win. And then, it was that D-Day when they were supposed to run. And then she slept. Really? I ever fell in love. The only one that cures my panting soul. Why, why didn't you tell me that you were gonna leave this soon? You, you left without even saying goodbye. Maybe if he had said something to me, I would prepare for your demise. Anita, my sunshine. The product of my first love. Please. 
please stay with me. Stay with me, please. I wouldn't be able to live without you. Don't go. Don't join your mother in heaven, please don't. I would do all I can within my power to get you out of that hospital bed. I love you so much. Really try to just imagine you digging up what for three days what the excavator machine would have done in less than three hours. <laughs> this is what I call evil. You can say that again, man. I I just had to do this thing without resistance. So that I know if you'd um have a change of heart and you know approve my loan but um, the way it is right now I'm tired I'm exhausted I don't know if I can continue you know I'm seriously thinking of resigning this job because I, I cannot I cannot place my hand on the reason why that man hates me so much I, I, I don't understand it like seriously resign <laughs> no 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 it hasn't gotten to that it hasn't. Alfred, what, what am I doing here? What am I doing in this company? A company where as a senior staff I cannot get access to a loan. Where faithfulness and loyalty is rewarded with sentiment and, and hatred. No, really, what am I doing here? Look, I'm done. I'm done. I've thought about it. I'd rather go, just go to the streets and hustle. I feel your pain, bro. I do. But I still think you have to be patient and hopeful. Or better still, you talk to the MD. I think he might see reasons with you, you know. Oh, why are you talking like this, Alfred? No, why are you talking like this? Which, which, which MD? The MD that is never in the country. Even when Mr. Ferguson is in the country, he's never in this site. Mr. Raymond, the, the project manager, is, is, is his eye here now. See, me, I'm fed up, oh, and my mind is made up. I, 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 I'm going to resign. Well, go back to my work. That's a good thought, but it looks like a pipe connection, a junction box or something. I think we have to get the PM's attention so we don't get ourselves into trouble. Just like that. 
So what if it's an explosive? Have you thought about that? Or it's connected to the, 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 the grand plan of, 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 of this structure? That's how you just destroy it and, and spoil everything just like that. I don't know whether you think at all. I'm sorry, sir. You're sorry? Uh, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, hello, hello, Dr. Bimbo? Hey. Yes. No! No! no. Yes! <laughs> Uh-huh. What are you looking at? Do you forget anything here? Get out of here! Matter of fact, break time. All of you, down to the canteen. Nothing happened. She's fine. All right? I mean, how come Dr. Bimbo called me and said uh, it, it's, it's serious? Well, it looked serious, but it's okay. She's handling it. She will be fine. Are, are you sure? Sure. Sure. Okay, where's, where's Dr. Bimbo? She's in the world with her. She will call us when she's ready for us. All right? Just calm down. Yeah. Would you like to sit? No, no, Mom. Wait, just hold on. Mr. George, I must be frank with you. Anita gave us a huge scare. It seems like the seductive is beginning to lose its potency on her. Which is as a result of her red blood cells no longer able to fight back. It's really deteriorating. Um, doctor, I don't understand the word of what you just said right now. Please break it down. What I mean by that is this. You see, the red blood cells that carries oxygen to parts of the body with the help of protein known as hemoglobin. In Anita's case, has become sticky and is unable to flow through blood smoothly because of the presence of her severe situation. You understand now? So, Mr. George, Anita is dying. My patient is dying. Her still being alive is even a miracle. This surgery has to be carried out within 24 hours. That is if we must save her. <sighs> please. Doctor. Doctor, please. You, you can't let my granddaughter die, please. You need to do something, Doctor. You, you, you have to do something to save her, please. Ma'am, there is absolutely nothing I can do without at least 80% deposit of the surgery charges being paid up. I am following hospital ethics. I am sorry, please. Ethics! Hospital ethics! You're following hospital ethics. What kind of, what kind of ethics are, are, are those? Doctor, do you, do you have a conscience? Does this hospital have a conscience? What do you want me to do? I have tried. I have tried. Mommy, I have tried. Listen, Dr. Bimbo, help me. I beg you, please help me save my daughter. I, I'm, I will pay. I'll pay. You say she has in four hours. Do something today. Do something today. I'll raise the money. I'll, I'll rally around. I will pay with interest. Trust me. I will pay. I will pay. Please now. Please.
praying today, and I don't listen, Mommy, because I know she's in heaven. Baby, you will not die, okay? You won't die. Just die, okay? It's okay. She'll be fine. Oh! Oh! My sunshine, my angel, the product of my first passion. <laughs> you know, your mother and I anticipated your arrival so much, we counted months. We counted weeks, we counted days and even hours till you started kicking so fast. I knew it was time. You know, on that day I was, I was with your mother all through while you pushed. And as a beautiful child that you are. You, you didn't give her much stress. You came out. And then she was, she was crying so loud. She was, she was crying so loud. It's, it's the best. It was the best, and it's still the best song I've ever had.
bum, you know, I, I feel, I feel so strong when she's in my arms, you know, I just feel like a father. <laughs> Whenever she grips my arms, I, I just, it feels like an angel has touched me. Your mom left us when we, when you turned four. And I don't know why you, you want to take away this beautiful life you have given to me. You're here, I can't even help you. Boom, boom. And today I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. I can't, I can't even... I can't see that. Stop. She's going. No. Go oh, home, it's fine. No, oh, it's fine. We just need to pray. It's fine. If, if I'm not able to, since I cannot do anything to help her, I'm here. I will be here. I will grieve her. I will just be here till she takes her last breath. Getting dark, I need some light now. I'm right at the front line in this war. I feel like I'm losing it. My heart is breaking. Fear is almost getting hold of me. But I can't see. Riding this battle here in me And I can't hear you Telling me the battle is not yours You are You are The hand that holds me when I tend to fall And to think George did all the work. Ah, what song is this? Poor man that suffer, monkey the work, babu the job. Poor man that suffer, monkey the work, babu the job. Ah, all my years, my bosses, get out of here. I am not working anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. 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 <laughs> I am. Uh, who are these people? Police. Who can't bring these ones here now? Hey! Particulars, Sorry, sir. It's the routine of the check, sir. Please cooperate with them. 
What, 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 what kind of rubbish check is this? Eh? This is an invasion of my privacy. I mean, don't you have better things to do? Um, don't be offended, sir. Just kindly calm down. came in from downstairs because okay. I have a deposit to make and uh, the magnitude of the deposits is such that I cannot trust those little boys and girls downstairs in the main hall so I had to come up here to the boss in charge. How much are we talking about here? Uh, you can start by counting this. Counting this. Huge amount of money. Well, the very reason I came up here, I never exaggerate. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I, I, on that note, sir, uh, once again, sir, you're welcome. <laughs> um, since it's on that note, sir, um, since my staff downstairs cannot handle it, I, the bank manager, will handle it my own way. <laughs> I expect nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, just um, a minute. Um, yes, yeah, I'm fine, thank you, I'm fine. Uh, yes, I think I have the clear details of the circular. Yeah, it's right here with me right now. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, um, uh, sir, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for the call, because that I'm trying to put everything together. You see, sir, um, I believe you have an account with us. Of course. Uh, can I please have your account number? The account, uh, uh, 300, 1-2-6, 2468. That's 10 digits, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, what I have here shows um, Mr. Raymond. Raymond Obasi. Does you say Raymond? Yes, yes, Raymond Obasi. <laughs> wow. Um, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Um, uh, on that note, sir, Raymond, you say in our bank, we attend to customers in a special way, just like the way I am attending to you as the bank manager. That's his wife. Uh, um, I, I, on that note, Mr. Raymond, I'm not trying to flatter you, but um, I wouldn't mind if I ask you a few questions. Of course, of course not. I mean, I expect it's a lot of money, so I expect you to ask some questions to verify. <laughs> All oh, right. Uh, come in. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jane from the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. It's my money. Why, 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 why would you arrest me like a common criminal? Look, this is my money. My hard earned money. Oh, uh, okay. It's obvious this money belongs to you. You win. Good. Can I start going? Hello. Sit down there. Look at this money. Come on, look at it. I am looking at the money. That is my money. It's your money. It is my money. My heart and cash. Okay, you just calm down. Look closely. Come, come, come closely. I am looking. Are you looking at this mark? Mark. Yes. That's uh -huh. Mark. Uh, what of it? There are lots of marks. A, a, a mark can be on any kind of money and everything. I mean, marks are always on oh, from time okay, to time. Okay. Oh, okay. Just a minute.
Mr. Raymond Obasi. Look at this, Max, and each and every note. Could this be a coincidence? What, what's going on here? <laughs> okay. I'll tell you something. Something you need to know. Two years ago, the ex-governor's wife was kidnapped. And these kidnappers demanded the sum of $10 million. Yeah, that money was paid. But before it was paid, the police advised that we put a map and each and every note. And there was a warning and information that went to all the banks, both local and international, that will only trace the kidnappers to the spender of us money. Mr. Raymond. Um, the bad thing is, the kidnappers got what they requested for. But the annoying thing is, they went ahead to kill Mrs. Rosalind Dixon, the first ex first lady. You know what? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, no, 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 you do. Just calm down. Uh, um, no. You see, uh, that, 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 that money had nothing to do with me. If I, 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 I saw the mo that money, I picked it up. It had nothing to do with me. It, 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 it was in the, in, in the site where I was. That, that, that was shut up. up! Just shut up! You know what? You can't deny it. It's obvious that this money belongs to you. I, shut up! I picked it, but it's We have been looking for you. And we have trailed you for two years. Two good years. Mr. Raymond, you can't deny it. No, it's obvious you can't deny it. And listen, you're under arrest. You're under arrest for a series of crimes you've committed. For money laundry, for kidnap, and the death of the late Mrs. Roslyn. And anything you see from now will be used against you in the court of law. Officer. Shut up! Officer, please. I I I I I I do not I I do not touch anything! I do not touch anything! When it comes to be the feel so keep your hopes alive. Don't worry, keep your dreams alive. Don't worry, keep your smile so bright. Look. What is happening on this side? Look at the whole site is county. I'm from phase one, there's no job. And now, this, look at what I'm seeing. Where is Mr. Raymond? So you said? I said, where is Mr. Raymond? So we got a call this morning from EFCC. EFCC for what? The caller said they have him in their custody. What for? According to the caller, sir, they said concerning for cases connecting to kidnap, money laundry, and uh, murder. Murder? Yes, sir. Mr. Raymond, murder? Why is Raymond always in one story? Always in the wrong story? Come on, sir. Because, yeah, money, money. <sighs> yes, I'm waiting. Can someone please tell me what is going on on this site? What is all this I hear about missing bags of cement? QS. When this project started, you gave a concise bill of quantities. And I asked for a markup so we don't have issues of shortages of materials. The PM's record 
and that of the account and shows that these materials are ripe right and they were duly received. So how come this is happening? The project is yet 70% and, and we are short of materials? Cement? Oh, like you rightly confirmed, I did my job at the inception of this project, providing over 30% markup on the materials. So I see no reasons why we should be short of materials. I show me no reason. Uh, sir, if, if I may come in, <clears throat> I think this matter is very serious and we have to investigate this thing very thoroughly. Yes. Because yes. I have seen some very questionable movements going on around the section heads uh, department, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Where's the, where's the chief security man? Uh, chief security, no, 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 no. That is not, he's of no consequence whatsoever. I, I don't think, he knows. he's just a figurehead, he doesn't know anything about it. Uh, but, um, yes, you on the other hand, Uche, you are the storekeeper. What do you have to say about this? Because this stops right at your, uh, uh, this box stops at your doorstep. Sir, I don't know anything about this, sir. I swear, I don't know anything about this, sir. I, 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 I only take records, sir. I don't know anything, sir. How will you know anything? Nothing tangible will ever come out of your mouth. <laughs> don't mind him. It's... And, uh, the Chief Mason, don't you have anything to say? I mean, this is your department. It's you that uses cement more. Sir. I think you should um, ask the BM thoroughly. He has something to say. On this what do you mean? What, what, what's that supposed to mean? My friend, look at me and talk to me. What, what's that supposed to mean? With due respect, I think you should tell the MD what you did with the last truck of cement you diverted on site. What? what? And rather than blame it on, on us workers, in, in certain workers now, we don't receive them. Please. We, we all see these things now. It's, what? It's, it's a lie. We don't know. It's a lie. Mr. Mr. Raymond. George! Mr. Please. Raymond! This is a very serious allegation. I mean, what will the young man gain by? Like That's what I'm trying to wonder myself. Me, George! Raymond. Raymond. <laughs> Raymond. Mr. Raymond Obasi. I mean, how could you do such a thing as demeaning as stealing? Ah, that is disgusting. You're one of the oldest employees of this company. The project manager, for God's sake. Stealing from your own self? The last time I checked, you were paid over a million naira per annum. So where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. It's not happening. Oh, of course, sorry. I've heard that over a million times. But that doesn't stop the fact that, I mean, I'm greatly disappointed at you. Yeah. This is your sack letter. Sir. But on a second thought, I will not fire you. Not because you deserve it, but because of my younger sister. She will not understand and perhaps will not even forgive me for it. But you know what? I have asked for the value of that cement. As at the time it was bought, it was worth about 1.5 million. But I will use the current rate. I've asked the QS to do that. With the current rate, a further 20% will serve as your punishment, and this will be deducted from your salary, henceforth. Sir, 20%, sir? Yes. That will be my punishment. Sir, God will bless you so many times. Sir, if in 40%, I'm willing to pay as interest, sir. Mm, sir, this, you see this, it will never happen again. Of course, there won't be a second chance. No other chance, Mr. Raymond. Get out of my office. I'm very grateful, sir. Get out of my office. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Where is this young man that uh, exposed that um, dubious act of the PM the last time I was here? I don't get you, sir. I mean the young man that, you know, um, 
told us about the diversion of cement from the site. Oh, I believe you're referring to Mr. George. Yes, I, uh, yeah, George. The, the chief master. Yes, that's it. Oh, I'm afraid, sir. He hasn't been to the site today. He hasn't been to the site today. <laughs> Look, 11 a.m. Exactly what it is, 11 a.m. And he's not on site. What am I paying for? What is happening on this site? I'm sorry, sir. Somebody I, need to be sorry. I guess it's rather strange. Mr. Mr. George is a very prudent and punctual staff. I must say, sir. Look. Maybe he's stuck in traffic or something I don't know. Yes, there must be a problem somewhere. And I'm going to get to the root of it. Yes, sir. Call me George. Okay. Get George on the line. to work today. George? George, are you okay? George? She's dying. Who's dying? Daughter. She's dying. What? What? Tell me. What, what's happening? And she needs an immediate surgery. But uh, I, I don't know. We need. 3.5 million naira. And the doctors have said they will not lay a finger on her. They will not start the surgery if we don't have at least 80% of the money. So, where am I supposed to get that kind of money for my affair my daughter? Oh, George, I have you don't need to talk like that, George. George, you know that's why we're here as a family. George. I mean, all you needed to do was just put an application for a loan. I'm sure if you had done that, the, the project manager would have approved it. George.
this reminds me of the rose flower. I gave it to your mom a lot. The rose flower. The most enchanting of all the flowers in the garden. Her petals glow during the day. While at night, her scent travels far, travels far, miles we cannot count. Breaking through the strongest of hearts, a symbol of love. A symbol of affection. My rose flower. I got you! <laughs> but Dad, how do you know I was the one? Yes, I know. Through your scent. Mm, but Dad, I don't use perfume, so how come I have a scent? <laughs> Anita, how are you? Ah, young lady, how are you? Good afternoon, Mrs. Ghost. Ah, good afternoon. How are you? <laughs> good afternoon, sir. You're having father-daughter time, right? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I, can, I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough for what you did George. for my daughter and George. I. And, you know, I wouldn't have believed that someone would be able to offset our hospital bills and all, paying for the surgery and all that stuff. You still come to spend time with her. George, I mean, you don't need to thank me. I did what I had to do. Uh, moreover, look, George, you're beginning to embarrass me with this. Thank you here, thank you there, whatever you but see I, me, thank I cannot, you. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm embarrassing you. I cannot hold back my feelings. I cannot thank you enough. You, you saved my daughter's life. She means the world George. to me. Thank you, thank sir. You again. <laughs> You see, um, thank God for the provision and the privilege. You see, uh, some years ago, I had my first son, Caleb. He was diagnosed of CHD. I lost him. Oh. You know, I didn't have the money to take care of his hospital bills. I'm so sorry. I am today, not wanting history to repeat itself. I am so sorry to hear that. I'm sure Caleb will be happy on my decision with Anita. I'm ah. sure she I'm sure he would. <laughs> so how are you, young lady? Fine. Um, can I tell you something? Oh yeah, go ahead. Tell me. I love the teddy bear you gave to me when you came to visit at the hospital. Ah, <laughs> the one with the big brown eyes. <laughs> I'm so glad you did. I'm so glad you did. Ah. That's wonderful. My dad say you're a good man. Oh, a good man. Me. No, your dad, your dad, George, here, is a good man. Ah, and he deserves good things. Ah, that reminds me, George. Yes, sir. Are you aware of the federal secretarial contract we got? Yes, sir. Aha! And so, we are making you the project manager, the acting project manager for that project. Yes. I, I, I don't understand. Yes, yes, yes. I I don't get it, sir. I'm I'm only a, a man. I'm only a mason graduate from the technical college. I don't know anything about I'm not a judge. project management. I've gone through your CV and I'm well convinced, highly convinced that you are going to do us proud in managing that side. You'll do it very well. Uh, what you'll just do is you'll enroll for a project management training and um, that will be sponsored by the company. And as soon as you're back, you come in fully as the project manager. Hey! <laughs> Take sir, it care of. Thank you. <laughs> sir, thank oh, no, George, come so on, much. come on, come on, come on. Get up. <laughs> thank you. Come on, come on. It's, uh, it's nothing at all. Anything it's nothing at all. I, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see you later. <laughs> see me on Monday. Huh? Okay, sir. Let's wind up things. All right, sir. Oh, my God. Daddy is going to Yes!
Try to pray and wipe your tears Though it's hard, it's worth the fight Cause when you win, there'll be the tears Keep your hopes alive